thinking about young Donnie or are you thinking about old Donnie? People find Donald Trump attractive? Yes. Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything, everything that comes out of the crapshoot. <laughs> I'm your host, JD. This is my co-host. Sleepy Joe Donnie. Thank you, Shane. I'm going to come and I'm going to kiss you. I call him James. Everyone else calls him Jimmy. It just works like that. It's weird. A lot of things happened this week, James. Yeah, what else happened this week? My colonoscopy. Really? No. <laughs> I Well, wish. I mean, you're at the age where you should get them yeah, regularly, yeah. James, so. Hey, listen, man. I, I mean, told you, you should. I'm confident. I told you. I told you I, my I, actual I know, I know. over a million year old age and confidence. I, I know, but I, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just worried for you. you I know, just before the dying of you, you said you would you said you would get them, but then you didn't, so I didn't know how else to persuade you to do it than to bring it to the public. <laughs> I like how you're saying as if there's multiple. <laughs> it's not just the one done, it's then I have to keep going back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the point. James. You know, it's my first shot and then it's my booster. It's your first shot, your booster, your second booster, and then your second third booster. booster. My third booster? Sub boosters? You know, why not throw a little rooster in there? <laughs> also, what's that thing that you just uh, that li- you linked me there? I didn't actually look at it. Oh, the, the video oh wow count. Yeah, the oh wow count. So there's that? there's this British horror movie called Benny Loves You, where a man's stuffed animal comes to life, and <gasps> the stuffed animal has a catchphrase that it uses called oh wow. <laughs> Wait, and so it, it just uh, says oh wow. It's a very you have to hear it for yourself because it's very suggestible how it sounds. It sounds, it sounds what? It's, it's like a minute long video. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll. Is it copyrighted? No. Okay, I'll play. I'll play the, just the audio real quick then. Let's yeah, just, just hear that audio. Real quick. I don't want to hear that. Gave him Benny as a protector, making Benny kind of like Disco Rex, ball. only he occasionally makes a questionable moan. Oh, wow. The fr- yeah, you know what? I just I did hear that. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, make that your sound bite. <laughs> you want me to put that as a as, as a as donation a, sound? Yeah, as a sound. Jesus. Oh, by the way, that is not a real stuffed animal. What do you mean? It's completely CGI. What? I'm not joking. It's literally very impressive because this was like a one man team essentially that did the soul movie. Yeah. And. It took like three years to be like finish making because of how like accurate he wanted the special effects to look, but it's never. So that puppet is not real. It's almost never a real puppet. Dang, they won't. Well, they did pretty good on it then. Like in all the shots of it walking across the ground, that's yeah. not it being pulled on like invisible strings or anything. I feel like it would have been easier if they just it made been. it real. It would have been. But and no. cost less money, but. But no. <laughs> Why? He Why wanted to have make... a very specific look. He wanted it to look like a kid was holding it by the back and just like like bouncing it up and down as it walked, rather than it being like pulled on strings. I mean, it would have been even easier if they just had a kid in a, or they just had someone in like a green screen suit, just move it. Move Listen, like man, I didn't, I didn't make the choices here. I'm just saying. I mean, it's if very he's like, impressive. If he's like, oh, I I wanted to seem like someone's moving it. From, moving oh, you it. gotta do a British accent. It's a or, or if oh, I man. want to oh, see it move from oh, oh, the side. I'm always looking at my mom and I'm like, Ma, I want boy, my mom to be angry. And she's like, boy, boy, am I parched? I, I wish I could like... drink some water right now. <laughs> it's me, Sir Humblebrag. I think I'm getting pretty close. I to have a 6.3-inch like really pangus. I... <laughs> 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 I, I think I've gotten pretty close with like being able to do a really good British accent. There's just some really? words that fuck me up, and water is one of them. Because like I get to it, I want to say water, but I go wah, and I'm like, I know it just sound like some asshole from New Jersey. But it sounds like you're choking. On your, it sounds like you're choking on something as you're saying water. Just wah. Right, so I'm going in wah-uh. and I'm just wah-uh. Wah-uh. <laughs> Well, for today's topic, um. Uh huh. You got anything? Uh, Alec Baldwin killed a person. What? Actor Alec Baldwin. Character actor Alec Baldwin. 
Hold on, Jenny. I think we gotta get we gotta get a bit real here because it was the actual accident that ended up in it was, somebody's it was death. A, so you're not joking. This isn't a joke. Alec Baldwin, the actor, accidentally killed somebody on set of his new movie, Rust, where they had handed him a prop gun that had been loaded with a live real round rather than a blank. It was it was shooting, it was a real gun. It well all blank firing guns are real guns. But no, I mean, I meant that they they put a bullet in there. It was a shotgun. They loaded a live shell rather than a fake blank one. On accident? I have no clue. All that has been released from the court records is that a live shell was loaded into the gun and then handed to Alec Baldwin. Well, wow, we're getting really scene. dangerous right now. Yeah, let's dive uh, into this so, dangerousness. Yeah, it's very interesting the way that story went because it's like, holy shit, how did this happen? But he was. <sighs> It's it, like the most unfortunate circumstances. It really is because it's like, while I'm like thinking, man, I'm really sad that that person died, and that the director like literally is fucking like in the hospital injured from that shot. From the shot, because it it killed the cinematographer, the director. Also, oh, hit multiple people. It hit two people. It killed one. So yeah. it was, I don't know what the context of the scene was, but I'm assuming that from a distance he was shooting his shotgun right towards the camera for uh -huh. like a uh, type of onward shot or something. Yeah. And it ended up, instead of being a blank round, it was a live, it was a live actual gun, uh, shotgun shell. Uh -huh. So it just on, on target just fucking killed the director of photography and hit the director who was standing behind her. Damn. And... It's just very sad. It, so the situation is that the stunt people... I've got literally the readout for it, so I'm just going to read it verbatim. That way I don't fuck it you up. You have it just, right uh, now? I have it, the info behind it. So... Hmm. The day before this happened, mm -hmm. uh, the prop team had walked off because of unsafe conditions on set. Productions uh, hired okay. an inexperienced crew from a local film school to take over. Okay. Somehow a live shotgun round was loaded into the shotgun. I'm wondering where they got a real sh shell from. I mean, you can just buy that normally. It probably got mixed into their blank firing stuff because it's an inexperienced crew. They probably didn't have it labeled properly. Do you buy the blanks and the real one from the same I place? Think you, I think uh, they might have gotten it, like mixed up just... Because I'm wondering why you would ever need real why ones you'd ever on Why you would ever near each other? No clue. But so here's the the readout from the court case and everything as well. Yeah. Alec Baldwin was handed a loaded weapon by an assistant director who had indicated it was safe to use in the moments before the actor fatally shot a cinematographer. Okay. That's according to court records that were released Friday. A search that's a, that's warrant filed official. in Santa Fe. Yes. In Santa Fe, Mexico. Court said the assistant director did not know the prop gun was loaded with live rounds. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was shot in the chest. Director Joel Souza, who was standing behind her, was wounded. The warrant was obtained so investigators could document the scene. Hmm. That is from the court thing, and it's just super sad because it's like, firstly, this young, this young director of photography died. Uh, extremely A young director sad. of photography, yeah. She was very young and everything. She was still like, I think, in her thirties, maybe. Uh, so except she's forty-two. Oh shit. Yeah, I'd seen the pictures and I thought I could when she was 30, but still, sorry, that's very mean to say like <laughs> that. Like, really? Fuck. Uh, but still very sad nonetheless. She died and mm -hmm. the director was fucked up, got fucked up by the shot. Jesus, that's a way of saying it. But um, Alec Baldwin, I don't think he's going to be charged with like a uh, manslaughter or anything because he wasn't like it wasn't intended in that way or anything like that. Uh, is, I, is manslaughter the one where you aren't intending but you still kill someone yes i don't think he's going to be charged with that though because he was indicated to by everyone who had handed it to him like, so based on that context were, it's he's it's not going to be charged or he's no, not i don't be charged? i don't believe he will be charged because of that but also i do think this will have lasting effects psychologically though because that is fucked uh knowing that you killed someone and knowing that you killed someone, no matter the context of yeah. you were handed the gun, it was safe and all that stuff. I just have to wonder how you directly killed someone. That's pretty. I I have to wonder why 
like situations like this just can't mm. be pro- more properly avoided. I mean, like you think with like the you think with involving- really uh, you know with dangerous weapons, things that are meant to kill people, they'd be a bit more triple check and everything like that. Yeah, uh, you you have like multiple checks to make sure everything's all good. And then again, it was an inexperienced crew who had been dealing with it, so they probably didn't understand all like the checklist stuff. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I don't know if you can excuse excuse. it because they're inexperienced. I think someone did die and it could have been avoided and it's just very fucked all around. I'm just trying to think of like how many more lives are going to get ruined from the situation that was brought on as well. Mm -hmm. Among what's already been taken away, the person that was lost and the person who was injured from this, how many more people are going to get fucked up by the like just ramifications of this rippling out. Hmm. Yeah, damn. Prop gun, prop gun shot, huh? Into the. I mean, that's how Bruce Lee's son died. It was a. He, prop- that's I. I was reading a. Um, I pulled up an article to, about it right now, and I'm. I, I just got to the part where it says like, another one, another prop gun incident was a uh, Brandon Lee. Yeah, he had shot himself in the head with a blank gun. And the thing, yeah. that's the thing people don't understand about blank guns too is that they can genuinely be deadly if it's at a close distance yeah it's, there still, is it's, still it's basically a real out. gun and it just it even though it's blank it still uh what is it still packs it, a punch yeah it's literally the force of what's coming out along with there is a bit of a projectile coming out as well yeah that like it burns up and everything after like a second but if that's like right next to your head it it's, doesn't matter mm-hmm you're fucked it's damn it's really sad and i think like this is going to help people move blank firing weapons into a way where we don't have to rely on real guns being used for them like um just cg I, it <laughs> well there's that but that's also like well can you do you have the money to cg it well there are airsoft guns that are shell ejecting i mean airsoft guns having... well some specific ones do look they look they can look pretty real no yeah airsoft guns like uh shows like the boys use airsoft guns and stuff yeah which becomes a little bit apparent when you see how people handle the guns and you're like why do they not look like they're getting any kick uh but there are shell ejecting uh airsoft guns and like even with shotguns there are again shell ejecting ones and everything to give it that realistic like look. a bunch of bbs or something yeah it's like uh it just like I know there's a, a Garand, which is like the World War II rifle and everything, and the Garand, uh, it's yeah. it, it's it's like one BB per shell, yeah. but it's like loud and it kicks out and everything properly, but it jams up a lot. I know there's the infamous shell ejecting shotgun that Corridor Digital uses in their shorts, which is like one yeah. that everybody wants to use every time they film with it <laughs> because it's like so there's real like- feeling and everything. Is, does this scene need a need a gun? It's like, well, not really. Yeah. Let me get the gun. <laughs> like, uh, so do we need to use the shotgun in this scene? Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be that Berlantio. No, 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 no. I mean the shell ejecting one. Can we? Uh, I really want to eject. Let's the use shell that one. <laughs> let's use. Wait, the I, real I see a picture one. of Alec Baldwin's family. Is that actually how? How many kids are from the set. Uh, uh, I don't know. Cause they're. <laughs> I think he's standing with his wife there. Oh, and is then, you, uh, are you looking at one of those pictures? I thought you were looking at him on the set of Rust. No, him on the set of Rust. Look, I see a picture of him like uh, holding a phone, and he's like got a beard, hair's yeah, all that's, like that's messed up. Rust, that one. That's the one I'm guessing is uh, yeah. right after he shot. Um, no. Oh no, I, I'm pretty sure it's not from right after he shot. I don't think anybody took any pictures of him looking solemnly after he shot the gun. I guess that's just a picture from Rust then. Yeah, probably just a set picture from earlier on in shooting. Hmm. It's just a fuck situation, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, it's crazy. You don't. You know what was funny though? Right before we were talking about this Alec, ba- Alec Baldwin thing, is yeah. we were doing a Donald Trump impression, and Alec Baldwin <laughs> does a Donald Trump impression on SNL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> he does do that, doesn't he? World's world's a small place, man. Well, you see, well, you see, I was handed a gun. Oh my God. Oh. 
no, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> dude you know how much donald trump hates that impression of him too he does i thought he'd i thought he would be uh oh, be all right no. with it it's it he and it. all i can think is he's like seeing this news and he's not even sad and there's just a little smirk on his face yeah just, jesus hey melina this is what you get this is karma at its finest oh no okay we're not being genuine we're not saying this was deserved or anything we i gotta make that clear james no one's gonna watch this if anybody does and anyone the... does watch it i am genuine <laughs> i hate alec Baldwin. no no <laughs> if you know oh, anything no, about me and heard. the previous episodes you know that alec baldwin and i don't get along mortal enemy <laughs> there's how many episodes leading up <laughs> yeah a lot well anyway that's um yeah that's pretty unfortunate yeah like Sucky you know i guess it, it always sucks when you hear about someone dying who didn't yeah uh, you know especially it. with 62 episodes of lead up of how much you hated this guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. Even, even if it's someone that i absolutely dislike and think that you know well even if it's someone like that um killing i don't think it you even know. if on numerous occasions you turn to me even though i wasn't there e you turn even to on me, numerous occasions you look when me I... right in my eyes and you just said you get what you fucking deserve when i looked at you and i said <laughs> we live in a society and you looked at me with fear in your eyes i i realized that you know you know what's you know what's very sad another sad thing he was gonna be Thomas Wayne in that movie. Alec Baldwin? Yeah, he was originally gonna be Thomas Wayne before he dropped out of the role saying he didn't feel like he could do it. He was gonna be Thomas Wayne in Joker? Yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry. I guess what gets in. <coughs> oh. Sneezed again. What were you saying? Nothing. Uh, so moving on to lighter topics. Sure, lighter topics. Um, I just finished... Uh, the second arc in Genshin Impact. And you know what? There's arcs. There's a couple different stories. I have character development? Yes. Character. Yeah, well, I mean, it's based around characters. Collecting characters, you know? Gotcha game. And, you oh. know, the characters have stories. And you play it to find out what it is. And it's pretty good. And, you know, I'm, uh, I'm alright with it. I think I'm back. I'm back in the grind, you know, playing all those, uh, playing the, playing the games. But, um, I recently bought a game pass. Oh, you now I can game play, pass. I can yeah. play all of the, the games on game pass for the next month. Play all the games, the boys and girls. And, uh, what, what was, uh, we were going to play back for blood, right? James. Yeah. Back for blood. Yeah. Did it cast your finish? Yeah. Have you, have you, have you played it at all yet? I've played a little bit of uh, Back for Blood. I haven't played a lot. I see. Just like me then. Yeah. I basically launched it up, started the first tutorial campaign uh, in Nightmare Difficulty, and then uh, realized that it was uh, really hard. And by really hard, I mean it's like basically impossible. I was literally uh, playing it the other day. <laughs> Yeah. And I was just like, I was like, wow, it's really easy to kill these monsters. What, what, what difficulty am I on? Easy. Oh, you're crude. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I just had literally booted up the game. I just clicked the A I just a bunch have to rant about this for a second. But like, Nightmare Difficulty itself is fine. Unplayable. No, it's, it's fine. Um, like, yeah, the mobs have more health and they do more damage. But um, you can make it through a decent chunk of the level. It's the it's one mechanic of nightmare difficulty, or I guess just of the the game in general, where the higher the difficulty, the more uh, director cards are pulled against you. And direct, you know what the director cards right are, right? I do not. I generally do not know how to system the game works. I just oh. know that it won't. I thought that. I thought you, you did you watch the cutscenes? Cards. Did you watch the tutorial cutscenes when you interact with the new thing? There's cutscenes. Did you did you even step foot in the base camp or 
I mean, I'm in the camp, but I didn't do anything. Oh, well, I just when you go up to when you go player. up and talk to literally anyone, it'll play a cutscene, uh, like a cutscene oh. tutorial about what it is. And there's like a narrator and everything, and he's like, "These cards are awesome, and you oh, should get them." Yeah, I got that, but I did not pay Bat attention at all. Just, just truly. I did not pay attention to I mean, that at I, all. I, I it's that. whatever, dude. Who I care it. pays attention to things that are important anyway? I saw that and I was like, <laughs> this is so fucking boring. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the director cards are like, um, I just do not care. basically, when you, start a, when you start a run, which is, I guess, like a, an instance of a, of a campaign, it's like slightly different. It's It works so weird. So you're not in Life for Dead 2 where you just, you just click on the campaign and you play it, right? Yeah. And then you get a checkpoint every... Uh, Every time you beat one of the uh, levels, yeah. But in Back for Blood, uh, you 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 create a run, and a run is a I guess it's like um. Well, anyway, you create a run, and then you pick the campaign that you want to play, or the act of the campaign that you want to play, and then if you fail enough times without getting, or I mean, yeah, if you fail twice, I think, then the run will just fail. And then it, you can't play that run again. So you have to start a new run. Yeah. Which is really weird because, I mean, there's no checkpoints. Um, there's no checkpoints between some of the levels. Uh, you have yeah, to play I've through like, the first, you have to play through the first four levels to get a checkpoint. And um, like, it, even if you didn't create a run, or, I mean, you could create a run and then get that checkpoint, fail the run, and then you just create a new one at that checkpoint. So there's like no point to the run system because there's checkpoints. So I'm not sure why they put that in there. And it just seems a little tedious. But anyway, when you start a run on Nightmare difficulty, or I guess on any difficulty, the, uh, the director, which is the... Uh, like the overshadowing AI that controls yeah. the, uh, uh, all the mob spawns and everything. Uh, it'll it'll choose these cards uh, that'll like uh, change how level how the uh, enemies will play out. Yeah. So you know how you have like your character cards where you can pick like your a card to like give you more health or something. Yeah. Well, a director card is something like um, certain enemies will have armor on them or something. And it'll just randomly choose them, and then you have to play that. You have to play with those cards in that run. Yeah. And uh, there's one card that literally makes nightmare difficulty impossible. Yeah, like it's literally impossible to do it. Um, and that card is uh, acid blood. Acid so, blood. So in in nightmare difficulty, I mean, you've played Left 4 Dead two before, right? Yeah. Or any of the Left 4 Dead games. If you yeah. play on the hardest difficulty, you know that the spitter there's a acid difficulty. Huh. I, there's a difficulty over the first one. I'm sorry that uh, I forgot. I keep forgetting. I'm talking to someone who never plays. You're on. Talking to a normie here. A nor <laughs> maybe a little bit less than an easy dude. I'm talking to an well, easy. I call you guys normies. <laughs> but yeah, J James doesn't play on uh, hard difficulties. Oh right, we're recording this. I completely forgot. I just thought we were having a conversation for a minute there. I forgot we were recording. <laughs> what? I, I completely forgot we were recording. I'm gonna be honest. I was just sitting here. I'm like, okay, we're having a conversation before we get in the game, and then you're like, for all you guys, and I'm like, wait, who? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> who? <laughs> but yeah, so for you and uh, <laughs> we're doing a show, James. I fucking podcast. spaced out, man. Jesus, man. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, spitter acid just melts you. Uh, like you stand in it for two seconds and you're downed like all your health is gone yeah. and basically acid blood that one card that the director picks it'll make it so that en some enemies will be like extra infected or something they'll have acid blood and when you shoot them they explode so if you're too close to them they do damage to you and they'll drop a pool of acid and it's a pretty sizable pool um, like if you're in a hallway uh, which is the first in the first level there's a lot of you start you start Love in the hallways. hotel I think you start in the uh, hotel building. So yeah, if you're if you're in like an enclosed area, it'll just drop a pool of acid and you can't get away from it. You'll just have to stand in it and die. And like, there's a lot of Not the acid. There's a lot of acid blow zombies. So like, man, it's so hard to get through. It's 
we we could beat all four levels if it wasn't sounds easy the, to me if it wasn't for the acid blood card i think that card is like horribly unbalanced but anyway that's just my rant other than that it seems pretty all right i unlocked all the um all the uh characters oh i've got the main four and i only use one yeah um I realized the teenagers that scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> as early as you can, you could build your own uh, card deck and uh, use cards that are good for your character. Yeah, how do I use cards? There's a dude that you talk to to build a card. All right, because you could just do it through the menu too. Like you press I tab. I gotta take your card, card together. Deck. What do you mean by build my card? There's I'm a. I gotta eat scotch cape. Well, uh, there's a system when you when you start the campaign and you get into the match. It'll tell you uh -huh. to choose a, a deck of cards. Yeah. And you you default start with the starter deck. And right. It's just like a bunch of random cards mixed together. Uh, mm -hmm. And then when you talk to it, you could make your own deck of mm -hmm. cards. And then uh, you can use those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think the mm -hmm. point of the game is you don't I don't mm -hmm. think there's levels, mm -hmm. but uh, you go you can go talk to this one dude who has a, a like a supply run. And you can buy more cards. And I think the oh. point is to buy strong cards to put on your character. And then you can do Nightmare Difficulty. Because I think the problem was that me and my friends were on the starter card. We were only using the starter deck and we were trying to beat Nightmare Difficulty. And I think that was part of the problem. I agree. I think with me, we will beat it. I don't think so. Without me... Actually, I'm we almost 100% sure that even on the normal difficulty, which still, by the way, is... I is, hope you know I will carry your ass. On the normal difficulty, if you've... God will fear me. If you're not good at killing lots of mobs... Oh, motherfucker, I can spray and pray. Uh, then, I mean, hit your bullets on them. Then, uh, then you'll have some trouble, too. Pray and pray. Because, you know, it's kind of like Payday 2. And it's if, if I know anything about your body count from Payday 2, it's not very high. Oh, you don't even fucking know what I can do. At least there's no, like, like, uh... You've never hard... seen me in real action. At least there's no, like, super hard objectives in this game. Like, things that you have to carry You ever build a Ford. Do. You just have to get to one location, which is, you know, good enough. You know, I've, I... I've played it like eight times now, and I don't think I've completed a single level because like everybody leaves and I'm just left alone. <laughs> so I've never gotten like to the proper end blood? of a level. Yeah, I've gotten like to the safe room, but I've never like completed one of like the full runs. So oh, I'm just completed an act. No, so or I guess I've not just, even like, an act. It's it's like a checkpoint. Right? Everyone gone leaves. To a checkpoint? Yeah, I've gotten to like the checkpoint, and I've just never finished the entire thing. It's Wait, just how, everyone. How, how far have you gone? What's the last mission that you played? Uh, I think I've literally played every single one of them. I've just never completed all of them <laughs> together. And Wait, everybody what? leaves, and I have to oh, go. Oh, so like, like when you when you match make, it just drops you in a random level. It literally drops me in any random point. I think I've played all of Act One, just never to completion. Oh. Like, I think I got pretty close once, but then, like, I had to leave and all my teammates died, so I just left. <laughs> like, they, they all dreams. died and left and everything, and it was like, okay, cool, it's just literally me and a bunch of bots that are all gone. Cool. Peace out. Just do your do your bots, man. Do Cause, the bots. Because the last, the, the last mission of it is the one on the boat, right? Yeah. The last I, Yeah. Well, it I mean, was that's literally... Like the, that's like oh, the fourth level. Oh, don't even get me started. The boat is pretty I, difficult. I don't I know how we're going to do that. I literally was Nightmare. at the end of the boat. I was literally at the end. It's and literally impossible. Every one of my teammates left, and all the bots were just downed. And I was literally... I did not... This was my first game. <laughs> that was my first, first game. game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I had no clue yeah, I don't recommend... I don't recommend... But every the now and then I just... system's pretty awful. I just accidentally shoot my gun because every now and then I'd be like, wait, is this the right button? And then I'd accidentally slip and just click trigger. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, uh. What? How do you accidentally click trigger? Because I'm on controller, so I'm like trying to hit the bumper, but then I accidentally slip and hit the 
Your the finger button. slips and you hit the trigger instead. Yeah, and then it's like I'm trying to do other things and like I'll just be like, wait, what does this do? And it just I'll throw a grenade and I'm like, when did I pick up a grenade? Man, dude, you sound so much like a boomer. Bro, I do like You sound like you don't play games at all. Because that's exactly what non-gamers do. Because I always tend to forget because I'm so used to playing games that it's kind of just muscle memory knowing where the buttons are. Me but playing. for people who don't play games, they don't have that, right? So they, they're they literally Me like staring that. at like their keyboard or their controller, like press X to do whatever. And they're like looking at it like, huh, where is X? Me playing back for blood. And, I'm and, not like, you. That reminds You're me of you. Me. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What is this? <laughs> I'm not you. you? You're me. me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what wait, is wait, this? What? <laughs> I love it when we find joke videos and we just run it to the ground, but it's still just funny because it's so dumb. It's funny because, yeah, it's funny because it's just stupid. There's no I logic mean, to it. It's just, why does the trash can make them float? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> And then everyone else, like, I've seen all the, like, remakes of it that turned it into a, uh, like, you're a me from the Wii. Yeah. Like, I thought that's Wii what me. it meant. Because he spelled it like that. Right, but it didn't feel like that's what that- Oh! Oh, he's going into the trash can because this me's getting thrown away. I get it now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just, I just felt like everybody else did a better job at making that go through. Than he did, despite it being the original, which is, I think, way more funnier than anybody else. <laughs> is it funny because you don't know what the context is? No, I think even before that, I thought it was still like the funniest because I think like, it was even just. Even if you didn't know that, you know, you it was try, the idea. If you've never it, played think... the me, you've never played the Wii, and then you've never trashed a me. I mean, right. you still find it funny. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just the impracticalness and just the hilarity of like the just boosted audio and then him just floating at the if you can get a good floating into an air joke in your video, I will almost always laugh because I think that is a very funny joke that never gets used that often. I think it's a it, I think it's an uh it's a great cinematography choice. <laughs> just it's a great visual yeah, gag. Having, having your like legs just like <laughs> Like freaking uh, kicking as it, as it floats up from the ground. From first person the, view, by the way. Oh, dude, I love the ones that are of like yeah, the first person view. So good. Because I nobody, know there's this one TikTok. Nobody else does that. There's this one TikTok that also has a floating part in it that I thought was hilarious. Um, it was the one where it's like uh, posi or how how boys sleep. Because you know the there's a bunch of memes that are like um, yeah how girls yeah, do this and you. how boys do this. And then he's like, how boys sleep? And he's like, normal. And then he's, you know, he's just normally sleeping on his bed. And he's like, backwards. So he's like, his his head is like at in the, the feet pillow. of his bed. No, his. Oh, okay. So he's just turned around in his bed. And then he's like, floating. And then like, he's just like, <laughs> in the. He's just, he, has his, like, he has his blankets over him, but he's like, in the mid. He's like, floating above his bed, sleeping. <laughs> it's so funny. Because he I, just went I, from like, totally normal to just a hundred. <laughs> I think people do a very good job of that when they do like the uh, when you're listening to a banger song for the first time, you just start yeah. levitating and then they just hit their heads on their ceilings. I think, just I think like what he did, what he did was just he he put like a, a little stool or something on his bed and yeah. he laid on it and then put the pulled the blankets over it, but it made it look like he was floating because his feet were like out. He was just planking on this like <laughs> this stool. How boys sleep so normal funny. backwards floating. floating. Green, and then he—it's like him in a green suit, <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Is it just him doing a headstand? Yeah, it's him. It's him. It's not. It's yeah, headstand. It's like a handstand, but he has no hands. Yeah, headstand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you it's, mean you mean a headstand? You mean a headstand? <laughs> oh, no! Wow. No! No! No, no, it's not, not a headstand. Hand, it's a handstand without the hands. <laughs> it's not a headstand. Upside down floating. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I think those are some really good jokes when people can do that. Yeah. That's I think 
visual comedy, like, sorry, not visual, physical comedy where you can, like, put your body into the joke, like, yeah. do something like that with it, I think that was are always, like, dude, very good and clever. Dude, physical comedy, like, domestic violence is hilarious, dude. I love to see it. I love to do it. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> I knew you were going to say remember it. Remember when you sent me that message that, um, one of your coworkers, it was, it was like, split, it was divorcing his wife. Oh, and then he found oh my like god, a, can we please person? talk about this? I've been waiting to talk to you about this because it was just the that was two days ago. out of nowhere thing. Yeah, yeah, it was out of nowhere where you sent it to me because the, the, the sentence right before that was um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, wait, buying, wait, wait. I'm buying Riddler's BDSM mask thing. It's only 10 bucks. And then the very next message is Chris and his wife are breaking, uh, breaking up. <laughs> yeah, it was literally for me it was like it's seven in the morning and everything i don't know when i sent you the riddler one. Oh, i have yeah. to scroll all the way down the in our chat before, because i, I was doomed all the way to the top <laughs> i cannot stress it up. it was, it was but, nine o'clock it was nine o'clock at night the day before yeah so joe had sent me a link to the riddler mask that he wears in the movie which is just a cold weather mask for russian people and everything yeah and I was looking at it, it's literally only like nine ninety nine, and I'm like, cool, I'm going to get it. <laughs> it's fine. Nice. I'm just going to make a Riddler costume for yeah, next many year. like it, but it's, well, I mean, you could make a Riddler costume from Halloween. That's coming no, up. No, 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 I want to do a cosplay. Of the Riddler for Halloween yeah. that's coming and I'm up. just, I'm going to get a bunch of like, because uh, he has the four, the Batman uh, birthday card that he hands out. Oh. I mean, th not that he hands out, but there's like a poster of him holding one and then he leaves it at the crime scene in the trailer. So I was going to go like get a bunch of birthday cards or like just make them because that'd probably be cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but just make them myself and everything, like probably photocopy them and just like make the card look more professional. And then make and a video like out. I dressed up as the Riddler and... Yeah, I'd, I'd pull a straight D pity and just go to the convention and start harassing all the Batman <laughs> Yeah, harass all the Batman cosplayers. Be even worse and like super misogynistic. Always be a creep. Hang around all the uh, all the, yeah, the cosplay girls. Pity. The Deadpool <laughs> cosplayer. No, I I mean he gets consent when he does that, so that's okay. At least well, he's not. Dude, just you should be. You should step. You should that. do one step up and not get consent. <laughs> <laughs> Raising your game. Dude, these it's ideas are free, man. You can take them. I'm, I'm assaulting all these Batman cosplayers. <laughs> just throwing these cards at them. Just like chuck them at their heads. Yeah, ch chuck them. Try to get them into their mouth and be like, yo, it's covered in COVID. <laughs> I soaked these blue. cards in COVID. What's black and blue? Dead Riddle me over. this, Batman. <laughs> Riddle me this, Batboy. <laughs> Riddle me this, fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> so vulgar right yeah. there now comes out of nowhere but anyway you you want to talk about your your co-worker yeah so chris his infinite genius just like turns to me at like fucking seven nine in the morning maybe his frightening genius yeah <laughs> he just he's like so i was looking on tinder recently <laughs> and i'm like mm -hmm. chris i've known you for like three years now man aren't you <laughs> I didn't say anything. Listen, I yeah. definitely didn't say well, I mean, anything. I, I assume that just, every time your cokers want to talk to you, you just don't say anything. You'd never initiate a conversation. It's a thousand yard to. stare. Every time. The moment I hear a word out of their mouths, it's just they've seen the light leave my like, eyes. If I, was, if I was like invisible and I was in your shop watching you work, I'd, you'd probably seem like a different person to me. I would be able to see you. <laughs> Not if I stand so incredibly still. I can still see you. <laughs> That's how honed my eyes have become. Not not if I wear camo. <laughs> <laughs> just a man standing in full camouflage, just teeth posing in front of me. Just it's like, it's where like is the he? Wrong camo too. I'm in like desert camo. <laughs> You're wearing mixed match camos. Yeah. <laughs> urban camo plus uh, I have an urban camo top plus a desert camo jean fucking arctic camo cap <laughs> cap yankee with no brim the <laughs> arctic camo yankee with no brim yankee with no camo <laughs> yankee with no camo uh, but yeah he just he's just like so I've been on Tinder recently I'm like oh uh okay and he's like 
and I yeah. found this one lady, and she's just, she's just so fucking hot. And I'm like, cool. I do not care. Awesome. Back like, to work. Even if you were somebody else, I would not care. <laughs> but James, what if I told you that? No. <laughs> Well, James, I've been on Tinder recently, and I found this awesome person, great dude, named Chris. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why you say that? It's like when fucking Jay Schlack called up his girlfriend, he's like, great tits. <laughs> okay, bye. Great, great body. <laughs> awesome hair. Mm, so bye. good. He just, hung up. <laughs> he just literally called her on stream, then said that and hung up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Sigma male grind set. I mean, truly. When I see that definition, all I see is him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's just like, I was on Tinder re recently, and I just found this extremely hot woman. And I'm like, okay, cool. It's another Chris rule about finding a really hot woman. Okay, whatever. And he's like, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. Firstly, I, I was going to, he's like, I'll, I'll show you a picture. I'll show you a picture. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, just whatever. Sure. <laughs> Wow, I love, I love that they're. They seem like they're starved of social interaction. They just have to talk to you. They aren't. They okay. truly aren't. They have each other to talk to all the time, and then it's just like, oh hey Jim, you're looking quiet. You know, they're just trying to be nice to you and include you into their community. And I think you're you looking should, like you want to be left alone. I think you should be a bit more. Be ashamed if somebody didn't thankful do that. That, you, that you're in a community. You know. A member of the community. Be more thankful. I don't say shit about what they tell me. I mean, maybe the community is not the best community in terms of morals it's and not. stuff. But I mean, it's not. You're a I member of it, and I think that you should just embrace it. You know. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wait, don't come to me about, about it. So he shows you a picture. So he shows. No. So first thing, I have to leave because Franklin has this horrible pain in his tonsils and so i have to go to walgreens and get some like some stuff and run back to work mm -hmm. and i'm literally going out the door and chris he has his phone and he's like oh you can't see yet and i'm like oh, i'm leaving so i wasn't even trying to look and he's like oh well since you're leaving here and he already has it on his phone it's like well why do you even just say the whole like you can't see yet thing <laughs> <laughs> let's just get past the bullshit here it seems like they're just trying to they're just really trying to make you as angry as possible frustrated <laughs> angry they try to get your hair matted to your forehead, have. dude. They try to get your hair matted to your forehead. I just try to leave, and they're like, "No, no, 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 we don't do that here." <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you trying to go get medicine? Are you trying Die. to get drugs? We don't do that here. Well, they do. Not those kinds of drugs. No, no, they those kinds of drugs <laughs> in our bathroom. Right. Uh, but. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, hey, you're looking at my phone. And I'm like, cool. And it's just this top. It's not even, it's like just, it's literally what I saw Blake essentially looking at when he was on his phone while driving. I'm like, yeah, it's oh, whatever. Just like a model Bunch picture. Bunch of, or like, just a model picture of this lady taking a picture of herself standing yeah. in the mirror in a bra and underwear. And I'm just like, cool. I really have not seen it. That's awesome. Like, I've never seen this before. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. And he's like, that's a dude. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> That was actually shocking. <laughs> that it's like you, you were you like turn you around, you're walking through the doorway, and then he's like, "That's a dude," and you like stop in your tracks. You slowly turn back around. Like, what? It's the saw music. No, it's dun, the, uh, dun, 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 it's Chris Pratt. Dun, 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 dun. Chris Pratt as Star Lord. Just what? 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 Now I know that. Sound. <laughs> now listen here. It's a dude. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's like I'm just still standing there. He's like, he literally gets up in my face to the point that I can smell his fucking vapor and breath. He's just, yeah. that's a dude. Oh, okay. James. I'm that's still it. fucking, that's if it dude. had a dick. What? <laughs> See, James, you give your coworkers no credit. But they're actually super progressive. This was the most progressive moment of my entire time working here. Like, dude, that's from very it's clearly from just by assistant racist guy. Very clearly by. And there you go. It was literally like, she's so hot. Is she had a dick? I'd still fuck her, and I'm like, Chris, stop. I'm 
do not care. Let me care, stop you right oh there. Oh my god, stop. I am not the person who wanted to talk about this. Yeah, you know, just like how, just like how hearing about normal, uh, hearing about straight people talk about that, it's pretty, you know, not very cool, especially at work. Yeah, no, and especially then, um, at work in a professional environment where he's just fucking around all day, not doing anything. It's just even so <laughs> more strange of him it's just walking up to be like, if this woman had a dick still, I'd fuck her. It's like, no, stop. Stop it. I don't want to hear that. Well, Get here. away from me. <laughs> Get out of my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. F you need to write that down somewhere. That we, uh, if we ever get in person to do uh, the in our in person uh, crap to shoot, recreate these, moments. we need to recreate that scene. Like you yeah. need to tell that story again, and as you're telling a story, it'll be like a narration. And you know how like the rooster teeth does the uh, yeah a million dollars, million dollars but we'll do that style, yeah. and I'll be Chris, <laughs> and I'll just be like up in your face, like right next to your ear, and be like, if she's got. <laughs> It's <laughs> literally like that. Like I'm just staring dead at the phone, like not trying to look him in the eyes as he's fucking laser like beaming the side of my it's head. Like, it's like the scene. The scene is shot like you're wide-eyed staring straight onto the camera, and I'm wide-eyed staring at you, looking away from the camera, like perpendicular into your ear. And I'm just like, is she a dick? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> but yeah, is that is that all of that, or it's not all of it? Just real quick. Suddenly exited the call. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> if she had a dick, <laughs> I'd still fuck her. Can you look to the side and do that? Oh yeah. Yeah, look like straight to the side, wide eye. Just if she had a dick, <laughs> I'd still fuck her. Yeah, it looked like that, but then. You'd also, it'd be you on the other side. You're staring at the camera. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You take that home with you. I'd smash that. It's nine in the morning. I've not spoken to you for the past two hours you've been here. Good morning, James. I'd fuck her. So I hear about my latest sexual adventures. <laughs> okay. I need to go get medicine. You need to look at that picture one <laughs> more time. You need to look at this picture. Look at the picture, James. It sounds like it sounds like uh it sounds like what my friends do too. It's you. It sounds like <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like what my friends do too. They freaking they'll they'll show me pictures of like these girl of these girls in quotation. They'll be like, "You think she's hot?" And I'm like, "Stop! Get away from me! Don't <laughs> even don't is. even try." Yeah, well, yeah, it's because the way they say it. it could, because number one, they would never show me pictures of girls unless it wasn't actually a girl. <laughs> you they never do that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I go and get it and Franklin texts me the backstory because apparently Chris told him like while I was at everything he texts me the backstory like yeah. they, they're getting divorced and everything and <laughs> then I get back and I've given Franklin the medicine he's taken and everything I'm standing at my workstation and then Chris just for some reason struts on I'm over. going to get an Asian gamer girl girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> I like and how, all I can think of I like is, how he said gamer girl girlfriend instead of just said gamer, gamer girl girlfriend. girlfriend and I'm just like staring wide eyed at my workstation just like staring dead forward just oh no cause <laughs> I've told you about how he just like he kind of sits down sometimes and just like watches a stream very loudly of one of his favorite streamers who is a girl yeah the, he's a he's a simp right yeah I know. I don't know. Sims are in your are in your workplace. Oh, so many. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what she looks like, but I will bet you a Chris twenty dollar bill that she's an Asian girl. <laughs> no, not not an Asian girl. An Asian gamer girl. Sorry, an Asian gamer girl. <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> Literally the way this man described it, he's like, yeah, you know what? It'll be the best. You know, I'm going to rebound. I'm going to get her. And it'll be like, I'm just playing video games and she's sucking my dick. And I'm like, that's not how this will go. And then for some reason, when Chris left me and Frank, we're like, we just started repeating it to each other. And we're like, hey, you know, maybe I was talking her dick. I mean, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just started dunking on him out of nowhere and I feel so bad but it's also like it's so deserved <laughs> it's really like funny the, the most sexist homophobic you know just racist and transphobic Come guys on, he's, like no, he's... all of a sudden it's just like oh, I wish she had a dick I'd still fuck her like what <laughs> I mean usually I'm not gonna lie James usually the most like homophobic transphobic thing, people yeah, are like agree. insecurely actually on bi or something rude. <laughs> it's rude to put that stereotype on him because it's like well then that just implies that a lot of gay people are just straight people who won't admit it i don't know james i don't know but you know it's a pretty good damn example that that is an example of it i think that <laughs> i that, I, I wouldn't say it's like a <laughs> stereotype, but I think that it does happen. No, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I, yeah, it probably does quite a bit. Because I'm not going to lie, James. Some of the people um, that I talk to, you? Uh, what, like they, you could say that they were, uh, or they, they, I wouldn't say that they were homophobic or anything, but they'd make a lot of gay jokes. I wouldn't say they're homophobic, but they're they'd homophobic. They'd make a lot of gay jokes, right? And they talk about penis all the time. And then it turns out that they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's me. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not going to put any names on <laughs> oh, James. <laughs> what do you gonna, see? I'm not going to name anyone, but it's you. Corporate wanted me to hand you these two pictures. <laughs> Corporate <laughs> needs you to find the difference between these two pictures. <laughs> It's the same picture. Uh, that's a good joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, it's nothing wrong with ha with wanting an Asian no, gamer nothing, girlfriend. There's nothing wrong with the thoughts. It's the way they were delivered and who they were delivered it's by. It's the way that, that he it says weird. it or something. You know, it's maybe it's the I, fact that it's 9 a.m. I wouldn't say it's objectifying if he wants an Asian gamer girlfriend to bang. No. Whenever he wants is the words that you told me. Those were the words. <laughs> yeah. I love the good word description. And then you also told me um he has a thing for Asian girls specifically. Yes, he literally like a year ago, just out of nowhere, said. I told my wife we can never go to Japan because I would immediately cheat on her <laughs> with an Asian girl. <laughs> it's like irony because his wife cheated on him. <laughs> it's sad, but it's also ironic. It's 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 comedically funny, dude. Because he kept saying it to his wife, and then she just went and did it. It's like you. Can't write that Dude, shit. Dude, all all bark and no bite. <laughs> <laughs> you mess with the bull, you get cheated on. <laughs> you know what they say. There are the consequences. We all know them. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> so that's why that's why they broke up. Yeah. I see. <laughs> It's also just God, he sounds I'm like sure, a great like guy. A why would they, why would anyone cheat on him? Because he's kind of I an can't asshole. imagine it, dude. I I think I I think I typed this at one point, but uh, I said that I relate to your coworkers more than I relate to you. <laughs> That's because uh, I'm. <laughs> it's not because of that, James. I think you said something about anime, and then I was like, yeah, fuck you, James. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't find it, but was oh. it the thing where like? <laughs> no, it was right after you told me that he he said he'd cheat on his wife if they went to Japan, and then I was like a true weeb. I relate to your coworkers more than I relate to you, and then I t I think you just ignored this. I don't know if you saw it, but I said I cheat on my wife all the time, with my oh, forty with my forty third Asian gamer girlfriend side piece. <laughs> <laughs> 
no Asian gamer girl girlfriend side piece. <laughs> and I think in that in that three sentences, um, you only saw the last one, which is oh shit, a way out is on Game Pass. <laughs> <laughs> This is truly an example of my attention span. <laughs> truly an example of how you read um, more than one line of, of of words. You just only pulled, read the last I one. The, I pulled the real Riverdale. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not feeling. I'm feeling a little tired. Riverdale. Yeah, I was. I was gonna bring it up again, but you never. I, I didn't think it was the right time. You know. It's always the right time. But you know, I mean, I maybe I relate to Chris's wife more than I relate to Chris because you know, I'm a horrible cheater and <laughs> cheated on all my 743 girlfriends that I've had in the past three weeks. Yeah, that I've had in the past three weeks, and um, you know, it's just hard. Modern modern day. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I'm not gonna. Say <laughs> no, no, keep going, keep going. Come on, I'm JD. Good, dude. Dig that hole. <laughs> All right, I'm digging it. Modern, modern day Genghis Khan, dude. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's my goal in life. To conquer all of China. And not anything else. James, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's your goal to conquer all of China. Cool. You goddamn colonizer. <laughs> 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 how, can you, how can you take anyone seriously if they if they 100 seriously call you a colonizer has anyone called you that james i don't think i've been called it mm -hmm. no i don't think i've been called it yet i'm sure there'll come a point where somebody will assume i'm of one way and they'll be like you colonizer and i'm like what what i support you no, I support you. It doesn't matter that you support us. It only matters that you look like one. So therefore, you are. Wait, isn't that right? No. <laughs> isn't that what you guys don't like? To sure, colonizer. <laughs> and racist. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, Go on. I thought I was just gonna let the silence just keep on going, but um, yeah, I was gonna say something, which was uh, what was it? I was in um, I got recently invited into my other friend group to do to help them develop a game. Whoa! And uh, I haven't seen this group of friends since middle school. Or, I mean, oh. I haven't talked to them since middle school. Do you Back know anyone who's named uh, Victor? Oh my god, I think I do. Yeah. Uh, I it might I jog your memory even better if I told you he was uh, special needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was something like uh, his arms were fucked up. But uh, yeah, he, he contacted me because uh, I don't know if you knew this, but me and him were pretty good friends in middle school. I did not. Yeah, me and him were pretty He's good friends. Are going to reveal that this has been a long play and that I was secretly a bully back in the day? <laughs> Uh, well, I, yeah, I would say we were friends. He would say I'm bullying him, but you know, that's, it's, it's here. Oh, neither oh. here nor, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking with you, James, but no, we actually, you actually were friends and he contacted me and he's like, yo, I'm, I'm making a game. You should, you should join me. And I'm like, I, right. and, um, they went to this one high school called, uh, Westridge or something. North. It was a West direction. Head? But no, it was just some, it was a high school I've never heard of before. And um, apparently it's like a really ghetto high school. Westview? I I don't think I'll say the name. Um, but all you know is it's super ghetto. And, uh, you know, they had a lot of fun there with all the racists and, you know, people like that. Oh, you're talking about Palo Verde. shooters. I don't think Palo Verde was really like that or at least i didn't hang around the people that were yeah you didn't take wood cutting class <laughs> there's a wood cutting class well. yeah first my freshman yeah, year. Uh, yeah, i was uh you know i was in the advanced standing oh, right God. i was all in the higher level classes yeah oh so, sure yeah you you, know, I, you don't really find them up there so 
<laughs> and you got me. Yeah, James. Good thing. Uh, good thing we got both points. Points of view on that, huh? Yeah. Could you imagine it's me? People in school are actually pretty good if you're in the higher level classes. <laughs> imagine that. Imagine that. Crazy. Imagine. Imagine all the people. <laughs> Could you imagine being naturally gifted at school and just having a better experience for it? I mean, couldn't be me. Literally, no. Could not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I also didn't take any electives that, uh, I guess all the bad people were in. I unfortunately continued to take them, not knowingly. Yeah, I took, like, uh, computer, pro I put, took, took programming classes and stuff like that. Usually, uh, I guess those kinds of people don't, don't take those. AKA, they weren't nerds. Just joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean nerds w wait a minute what is this oh <laughs> now we gotta make that <laughs> what you just call me a nerd and i start floating toward the trash can <laughs> i'm not a nerd you're a nerd wait what is it <laughs> i'm not geek you're geek wait what is this oh <laughs> Anyway, dudes. Anyways, um, how was your day? It was good. Uh, you know what else was good? I haven't been on TikTok in quite a few days. <gasps> oh my. Yeah, I've cured my addiction until I opened up TikTok, and I had <laughs> uh over 147 new notifications. You relapsed. It I gives you a, over 140 notifications in a few days? <laughs> because the... I don't have notifications turned on, so when I opened it up, it was suddenly like... What are you talking like, about? You have this many new followers and this many new likes, and I'm like, that can't be right, so I put it up. Out of nowhere, I received 147 likes and like uh -huh. 30 <laughs> new followers. <laughs> Oh, I, I thought you just used it and didn't actually post on it. I've I've posted a little bit, but not like a lot. I've posted like seven videos. Yeah. But they're, they're not big things. And it's my seventh video that goes attention. It's not even my best video. <laughs> I really don't think it's been really that good. It's very simple and stuff. Uh huh. But just out of nowhere, it, it got 211 total likes. Still no comments. <laughs> Uh -huh. That many people, still no comments. But it was just so wild that it happened out of nowhere. I think just that's that's what? just how it works, really, James. Like you post some random shit, and it's like it's like terrible. You didn't put any effort into it. It'll, it'll right. Get, it'll it'll blow up, but then like the stuff that you do put effort into, it'll just remain unseen. It's so weird how that works. Right. It's fucking strange. Like I do think my previous videos were better in going into detail over. Like my uh, info Do you, would you want to tell me what the video was about? The one that blew I'm, up. I'm I'm recreating my uh, Agent Texas helmet that has the hole in the center of it and stuff. Yeah. So I'm doing uh, a tutorial, a part by part uh, <laughs> video tutorial series of it. And dude, my all my videos are such messes because it's like, how do I do this? Oh, I labeled this wrong. This isn't part five, but it won't let me edit it post posting it. So. It's now I now have to write in the description. This isn't part five. <laughs> I'm like, guess it's all scuffed. Yeah, it's all scuffed, and it's like it, it, everything is super scuffed. And then it's like my newest video. It's like it's my cleanest one, but it's not my best one mm -hmm. as far as content goes because I'm just like cutting along the side of the helmet to create the ridges for like the cuts and everything. Mm -hmm. And it's just it's like literally three details, and I'm just like retelling certain parts of it and everything. It's not even that big. Mm -hmm. Just for some reason, it has a hundred. I'm sorry, not a hundred. One thousand and twenty, two hundred twenty-two views. How do you and feel? Just, Are you addicted to the feeling now? Am I gonna lose you to the uh, to the fame? You're sorry, just Jamie, stop. I'm a TikToker now, and it's like I'm I gonna just message like, you I one day, be like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna play some Bag for Blood?" And then uh, you'll be like, "I'll be like, dude, why are you talking to me? Stay in your tax bracket, fool!" Yeah. And then <laughs> I'd be like, "Shit, I'm at the bottom." <laughs> I don't pay taxes. You bought him here. <laughs> I've been laundering money my whole life. 
unofficially. How am I supposed to make my income now? Shit. Oh, beans. <laughs> what a sick burn. Got I'll him. have to get the lawyer. <laughs> Go get got him tattooed on you. <laughs> ah, beans. <laughs> no, it's just. I, I it, snuck some Xanax into your food and then I tattooed these nuts on your forehead while you were sleeping. <laughs> right in the middle. That'd be a sick prank, huh, James? Yeah. We, we, should, do a, we should do a sleepover one, one time, dude. We should do it's... a sleepover. Wait, hold on. Sorry, did I just hear you cry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you yeah, get where we... I was going with that joke? Uh, I don't know if you did. I think I might have actually tuned out. I said I was going to tattoo these nuts on your forehead while you sleep. Yeah. And I led that up with, let's have a sleepover. Oh. Yeah. Well, you see it. What's going to oh, be funny, stupid. I'll like pay I'll like pay the artist and be like, dude, you got to tattoo these nuts into his forehead. <laughs> the and then as we're both sleeping, he accidentally, he, he does it on me instead. And I'm like, you fucker. I'll just have to pull one of those, uh, I'll have to pull, um, crap. That James Wan movie. Malignant? Yeah, I have to pull a malignant just rip rip the tattoo off my forehead. You just malign these nuts. <laughs> malign these yeah. nuts, dude. Yes. Okay, yeah. well. That that's it, James? That's all you want to talk to me about with the the coworker situation? Yeah, I mean that's all I can go into detail with with the people that are home right now. Chris is in your house right now? I look back at the phone. It's a picture of me. Dutch. 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 <laughs> it's all music. It's like, it's like, check out this, this hot Asian girl. I saw, and it like, he shows you a picture, but it's just a normal picture of you standing there. <laughs> God, that'd be so funny. Anyway, if you enjoyed, you should leave a like and subscribe. Enjoy. We do this every Sunday. Every Sunday. And, that, well, I mean, there's, there's nothing more than that. I stream, I guess. It's in the description. James streams, although not very, not recently. And, um, yeah, that's it. Say goodbye, James. Bye!